Hey everyone, it's MGems here. Welcome back to Monster Prom Second Term. So I'm joined by my friend Luke today. Hello. And uh, yeah, so we are trying to figure out who we are romancing. Luke, where would you like to go? Oh, I already know where I'm going. Okay. Not to the Damien table. <laughs> Damien's um, kind of scary. Terrifying. I'm going to go to uh, where my honey is, Polly. Are you going for Polly again? Yeah. You find Polly and Liam not eating as usual, you know, because they're undead. <sighs> Oh god, what voice did I give this guy? You know, the food in this cafeteria really is atrocious. It's hardly even worthy of my Instagram. Haha, <laughs> what? I didn't even eat the food. See, this is exactly what I mean. We can do so much better than these subpar culinary abortions. Oh, I see what you mean. You mean the two of us should have a cook-off. What? No? Did you say something? I'm not listening because I'm so psyched about this cook-off. At no point did I agree to... I've got huge advantage, though, because I've cooked so many drugs. <laughs> oh, you think you've got the advantage, huh? I've been alive for centuries of culinary history. It's on. The two of them dash into the kitchen, ignoring all rules of law, school, and common decency as they commence cooking. What is with this screaming in the background? I love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's really jarring. Two celebrity chef judges appear to critique the challengers. I think they're both equally horrible, says the cruel British judge. <laughs> I think they're both equally marvelous, says the overly nice British judge. Both judges turn to you. What do you think, tiebreaker judge, whose meal truly is the cat's pajamas? Uh-oh. Okay, Liam's- well, I know you're gonna pick Polly, but Liam's because I think that glass jar of fresh human blood really goes with the parsley he sprinkled on top. Ugh. Polly I like that, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Polly's because she literally just made a pair of pajamas for a cat. She's got, like, a new shirt on. Looking yeah, good, girl. Well, I'm gonna go with the cat pajamas. What? Unbelievable. That's not even food. Neither is blood. <laughs> what isn't even food? That pile of yarn you're knitting in that frying pan. That's clearly <laughs> a set of pajamas for a cat. Oh, is it supposed to be food? Sorry, I forgot what we were doing. God, I am Polly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was supposed to be food, and yours obviously isn't. Oh yeah? Then how come it won the food contest, huh? Well, because Boosh has a crush on you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll catch y'all later. I gotta go find a cat to put these pajamas on. Later, you run into Polly again, and she lets you pet her kitty, if you know what we mean. <laughs> oh my god. It means you get to pet the cat she put the pajamas on. What did you think it meant? You disgusting person. Yep, exactly. <laughs> okay, challenge. Everybody chooses a video game. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Ooh, Ooh any video game. I'm going so to many. choose The Last of Us so because many. I'm playing that on the channel right now. Go check it out, guys. That's a shameless plug. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's like? What's a really obscure game? American Truck Simulator. Okay, so The Last of Us and American Truck Simulator. Here we go. Player orders decided based on how entertaining it would be if Shakespeare, brought to life only for this purpose, <laughs> played this game on Twitch. Oh my god, I both mean, would be so yeah. damn good. I guess that's why there's a random button, but oh. I don't know. Both would be equally as entertaining, I think, because you wouldn't yeah. know exactly what a truck was. Oh, that's true. At all. But then he'd also be like, what is this language being used in The Last of Us? Yeah. And what are these creatures? Oh my god, Shakespeare would be scared shitless oh, playing yeah. The Last of Us. I don't know, that's hard. I wish we had a, like an impartial third party to decide. You could just hit the random button. Um, yeah, why not? Yes! Yep. It's happening for me this time. Alright, cool. It is now evening, so we're still at school for some reason. Let's go. I'm pretty fun. I don't know if I should be like focusing on a certain trait or Yeah, I don't know if there is a strategy to this game. I'm going to go hang out in the bathrooms. Oh my god, I look terrifying. <laughs> That day, you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. Why do we have class at night? It's high school. I don't know. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn <laughs> by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You give plus zero shits, but you gain plus two boldness. Cool. Who's gonna be here? 
You're living your spookiest life when you hear the giggling of an eldritch cutie pie met by the snorting of an angry prince of hell. Interesting combination. Damien. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. I'm not saying that's definitely how you lost your horn. I'm just saying that's one of my head cannons for it. Hmm? Head cannon? Yeah, how I imagine you lost it in my mind. When I think of all the cool adventures everyone at Spooky High must have gone on before I joined you as... All as a regular girl. What is regular about this? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I didn't realize she had a tentacle arm. No, that's yeah. so scary. Regular girls don't come up and ask me if I nobly sacrificed my <laughs> horn for the coven because I'm secretly <laughs> horny for hope. <laughs> Okay, but I also have an Spooky High Seas AU where the whole school is a pirate ship and you lost your horn to a bad case of scurvy. Wow, this girl's all about the fanfiction. What? Fuck scurvy. If I was a pirate, I'd only get the coolest, most dangerous diseases. <laughs> <laughs> I also wrote a Human High AU where you're not missing your horn at all. You're missing a wang. <laughs> <laughs> How is an... How is a horn an analog for a wang? Also, don't answer that. <laughs> Stop making up cannons about my head. The only cannons I like are the ones with two ends. <laughs> I'll happily stop making up head cannons if you tell me the real story. Huh? I don't like any of these options. You could just tell Zoe that Damien lopped off one of his horns to piss off his dad's. You feel like you've heard that somewhere. But friends don't tell friends, they're other friends' horny secrets. This looks like a job for lying. And maybe, just maybe, you can use your answer to impress one or the other of your very attractive classmates. These are like, I don't want to date either of these people. <laughs> I guess I'm going to go after a tentacle girl because uh, Damien scares me too much. You're getting shoehorned into this and I love it. And I'll probably get fucking rejected again. Okay. As we all know, demon horns are a powerful aphrodisiac. It's not hard to imagine how Damien lost his... Wink. Who, who gives a fuck how Damien lost his horn? You should see what the other guy lost. It was most things. Um... I don't... I don't know what she would want. These are kind of vague. I'm not gonna say anything. Do you have, an, have idea? an idea? No, help me! No. I got rejected so harshly last time. Damien's um, is the bottom one. Oh, I think you're right. I don't know why I'm like so... <gasps> Not so charming. You made me lose my charm. Oh. You're plotting against me. I actually didn't think that was going to happen. Eee! This is going to be the most realistic spooky high fanfic ever. Oh, wait, she liked that? What? No, it's not. Don't you dare write that shit down. Why not? It's going to be so sexy and steamy. <gasps> And draw everyone's attention to the fact that demon horns are po there. And draw attention to And draw everyone's attention <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Whew. And draw everyone's attention to the fact that demon horns are potent aphrodisiacs. I can only foresee sexy consequences to this. That's because you're not the one with the horns attached to your damn body. No, I just have a freaky tentacle arm. Huh? I still have one horn left. You be tentacle dum dum. <laughs> we go to a high school for horny monsters. Do the math. Oh no, do you think do you think people might read my fanfic and come after you? Maybe. Uh a uh, Ravi? Mm -hmm. Why did you say the demon slayer's name with that thirsty look in your eyes? <laughs> because I wrote a really detailed fanfic where you and Avari put aside your differences and <laughs> And she murdered me for my horns so she could sell it to fun murder of other monsters because that's the only thing that could come of this. So you really, you really think Avari would read my fanfiction? God damn it, Zoe, and god damn it, EJ, for starting this shit. <laughs> I didn't do You're anything. You're gonna get everyone in school killed if you go on like this. Wow, that's a pretty uh, harsh assumption. EJ, get everyone killed, but then there will be no one left to write fanfiction about. Hard pass. That doesn't sound like the person who I thought voiced this character. I think I might be wrong. I hate it when reality gets in the way of my carefully crafted fantasies. I'm out. Oh, okay. So it did work for her. Well, that certainly took a turn for the worse. Too bad, because writing fanfic with Zoe would be like third base. You lose minus two creativity and minus one fun. I'm still hella fun, though. Not very creative at all. So I had to lose traits in order for her to like me. 
Never do that, friends, in a um, relationship. <laughs> okay, bouge. What's the cat? What's with the cat? Oh, the cat the... is, remember where you buy stuff? Oh. So you buy things to get your traits up, I got depending on what money you need. Right now. I might go do that. Okay. Outdoors we go. Yeah. Let's see what's Show for me sale. That money. Hi, stranger. It's been a while. I've missed you. It's okay. You can look at my stuff. <laughs> Let's oh, see. events. What we got? This wasn't in the last thing. No. A corpse. Yeah, I'm selling a corpse. It's like some kind of fashion accessory. It is not as if I'm trying to dispose of it. <laughs> um, the Russian novel. Gift that keeps on giving. Zero dollars? Oh, okay. Where does it say the price? Up on the, the oh, tag over oh, here. Oh, okay. All right. I just wasn't looking. Uh, PR agent. The bloody tampon. <laughs> the... Tattoo, you're too poor for cocaine or a penguin mask. No, I wanted that cocaine. A blanket cocaine. with two holes? Literally just a white blanket with two eye holes in it. Oh. Oh, I wonder if you get this, if that would, like, if Polly would like it because she's a ghost. I'm gonna or get maybe it. she would think it's offensive. Uh -oh. I don't know. Offensive what to ghosts? Pink, pink glasses. I got those last time. I think it puts up your boldness. Uh, Bob Creativity Ross poster. With Bob Ross. Well, I'm... Oh, a fanfic. Oh, no, don't buy that one. I need to buy that one. I want to buy it. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm controlling it. I won't let you. Um, I don't know what the event means, if something extra will happen. So, I don't know. I guess... Get the cocaine. How much is the cocaine? It's $10. 10 okay. I'm going to save up for it. Are you sure? Yes. 100%. Okay. She'll definitely like it. <sighs> My stuff isn't good enough for you? Not cool. You know what? Maybe you aren't good enough for my stuff either. Uh-oh. I'm sure you can still visit her. That weekend, something happened to... Not me. Not me. Me. <laughs> Typical. Let's go. You were having a quiet evening with a coconut and totally... What? A co <laughs> coconut and totally not human flesh flavored smoothie when Polly phases in. Sup, EJ? You plan on coming to my death day party? It's gonna be lit. It's going to have all kinds of reminders of the way I died. That's kind of depressing. Uh, gu guillotines, quicksand, alligators, and all the food will be poisoned, of course. Well, are you asking me uh, if uh, Bouge wants to go? Wait, what? How exactly did this girl die again? You know, I've been thinking about it, and I'm really into the idea of sharing my afterlife with a fellow ghost, you know? Think of all the cute ghost dates we can go on, going to haunted houses on Halloween and actually haunting them, walking through walls to get where we want to go, appearing in turns to reveal perspective and truth to greedy old misers who don't appreciate the holidays. You know, all that classic ghost stuff. But I also kind of wouldn't hate dating Bouge, so I guess my question to you is, when do you think his death day party will be? Like will he become a ghost soonish at least? I'm not super patient, but I do think he parties down and could party even further down as a ghost. She wants you to die. <laughs> Bouge, that reckless bastard, he's gluten. Gluten, I tell you. He'll be dead by noon, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Bouge is going to be around a long, long time. Trust me, he already has a place reserved in a retirement community and has taken up bingo and become an expert knitter. Game over. I mean, game not over. Not for a long time. He's going to die an old, old monster. Well, should I tell her that uh, you're going to die soon? Because of gluten? <laughs> Maybe. That's what she wants, right? Yeah. See, but you won last time, so... Yeah, mm. but you know what? I also could have messed up your I know, this is, this is very true. It's and up to you. I know you'll screw me over if I screw you over, so... <laughs> gluten? Ha! I knew Bouge lived life on the wild side. Which will hopefully take him right into an early grave. Hopefully. Ideally, the grave right next to mine, and we can party for all eternity and make random ee noises on sound <laughs> recordings. Like this. Eee! If you decide to die anytime soon, you're welcome to come to our ghost raves. They're going to be ghastly. Well, you're not really sure how Booge is going to feel about how excited you all are about his impending death, but hopefully he'll be psyched that it's a death approved and eagerly awaited by Polly. Oh man, how awkward it's gonna be if Booge is actually in love with Scott and now you're all psyched up about dying for nothing like a sociopath. <laughs> you came plus three fun for sending Booge to an early awesome grave. Oh my god, I'm so fun this time. I was not fun last time. 
Okay, everybody chooses a movie. Ooh. I don't watch very many movies. This I don't watch probably... very many movies either. I'm like not a movie person. I have one. I'm just gonna say Shawshank Redemption. That's a good one. That's a good movie. Mm -hmm. Um, shit. I just want to say a really stupid movie. Like, I've never seen this, but that Sharknado movie. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Play your orders, deciding based on how idiotic it would be to do a 10 hour remake of the selected movie. Obviously, everybody would love a 10 hour remake of Shawshank Redemption. Uh, I don't Therefore, know how you could stretch that out for 10 hours. Though, are you kidding me? It, it's him it trying to escape prison. Yeah, like, he could definitely be... make that. But, like, fucking Sharknado. Sharknado. <laughs> what a stupid fucking movie. Um, I don't know. I think mine's stupider. A 10 hours of a giant tornado with sharks in it? Probably. I love how I'm winning because mine are stupid this time. <laughs> cool. I'm getting away from myself. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's go. So, crazy, crazy girl is gonna be somewhere. I think she just might follow you wherever you go. So, oh, let's go to the auditorium. That sounds fun. Give me your money. Oh no, I didn't realize she was there. Oh, I saw that coming. No. Oh, and I can't probably afford. Oh, I wasted my turn. I only need a dollar. Give me a sale. Give me a <laughs> discount. Okay, well, this just gets your traits up. So like, oh my God, I'm so uncreative. Maybe I you should. Need Bob um, Ross. Bob Ross, help me. Wait, I have to pay for that. Oh, they're all five. Yeah, mostly. This is one dollar. I wonder why. I wonder what this would get up. I am so curious. But I don't. I don't want to know. You should find out. I don't. I don't want to know you enough. Definitely find out. I'm going Bob Ross because uh, Bob Ross is our Lord and Savior. See you later. What did that get up? Creativity. It says oh. right on the thing. Well, yeah, but. Um, oh man, that was sure. such a waste of a turn. Oh well. Um, what do we got? We can go to class. I know you want to go there. Sure. Or gym. Sure. Will Polly be in class though? Gym. <laughs> yeah, or that's what bathrooms. I'm thinking. That day, an epic oh, dodgeball right, match this. takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team spirit, leading to a spectacular comeback. Those are some pretty short shorts you got on. Mm-hmm. You're clearly a natural born leader. You gain plus two charm. Showing off my glutes. Hey, boo! Hey, booze, darling. It's me, lovely fan favorite Polly. <laughs> 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 I am not surprised Polly's a fan favorite. Like, how can you not love her? You know, I wasn't always a ghost. Yeah, yeah, this is about to get real. Hear me out. I used to be alive, but I died with unfinished business. Now I gotta live forever like this until I finish it. And you might ask, what's your unfinished business, Polly? Uh, fan favorite, lovely Polly. <laughs> I guess I can tell you. I never did a reverse Romanian Wilkinson. You know, sexually. Of course it's sexually. <laughs> Sigh. Don't get me wrong. I love being immortal and walking through walls and shit. But my soul will never truly rest until I do that freaky sex move. Oh well. <laughs> okay. I've done that one loads of times. Just name a time and a place and I'll reverse <laughs> all over your Romanian Wilkinson. <laughs> Throw a smoke bomb and escape while leaving a replica of yourself. That should buy you time to figure out what a reverse Romanian Wilkinson is. Is this the last of us suddenly? <laughs> Just throw a smoke bomb, it will solve your problems. I mean, the first one. She's gonna like this, right? Unless yeah. you mess it up and she doesn't believe you. Well, I mean, she can't find out anyway because she's a ghost. True. Okay. Yes! Finally, someone as well versed in freaky sex as I am. At last, I can be free of my eternal ghostly prison, or whatever. But mostly, freaky sex! <laughs> Alright, it's on. Prom night, okay? Oh, is this her asking you to prom subtly? Already. You Week bring two. the supplies, I'll bring my sex expertise. And hey, purchase the zucchini, Admiral. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. I don't know what you're talking I about, Polly. Know. I really. <laughs> I really don't know. Okay. She totally phased out. Man, I would be down to be a ghost just roaming the earth, messing with people. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, you might have just gotten yourself tickets to the wildest night of your life. But what the fuck is a reverse Romanian Wilkinson, and what are the supplies? For now, you at least gain plus three fun. 
Neither of us are very creative or bold. Okay, everybody chooses an object. Oh, God, that could be anything. Cat scratch post. <laughs> um, a tomato. I don't know why a tomato. I don't even like tomatoes, but... You've been captured by the enemy during a war. You have information that could tip the balance in their favor, and they know. Player orders decided based on how disturbed and afraid you would be if you were confined in a room with a man that assures you he will make you talk only with the help of said <laughs> object. I mean... I think yours, because yeah. is, isn't our... They're like long, like... Are they like... Cylindrical objects. Are they like rough or like spiky yeah. or anything? No, they're rough. I don't have a cat, so I don't they know. They get frayed? Like, it's all like twine that's wrapped around like a long cylinder. And okay, that's start, pretty like, scratching freaking... It, it gets yeah. all like... That sounds pretty scary to me. So, you won! Yay, good job! Um, sure. Wait a second. Who are all Who these new that? people? There's a bunch of new people. Oh my god. Wait, this is... I remember this person from last time. Yeah. Who the hell is this? I don't know. Maybe it's Damien's friend. Maybe. Who's oh the, no, who's I'm gonna have to sit the there. there. This is... This looks like the... I don't know if you remember from the first game, but when like prince? this... Yeah, the okay. interdimensional yeah, yeah, yeah. prince or something. Um, Can I date him? I don't, I don't know. I think it might just be a conflict of some sort. Man, I kind of wish I went after the computer. I have to play again after. <laughs> anyway, I think we are going to leave this episode here for now, you guys. And in the next part, we will keep trying to romance our uh, potential prom dates. And hopefully, I will have better success this time. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more. You can also hit that notification bell if you want to get notified of when new videos come out. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next part.